guys, it's Tori and welcome back to my channel. Today's video we are going to be doing a review on the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I have a love-hate relationship with this foundation. Obviously we're going to see how I feel at the end of the day because I just applied this and today I'm really paying attention to this. Now when I was working at this job that I absolutely hated, that's not important, that's just like a non-issue right now, but when I was working at this job, I wore this foundation a couple times. I haven't had it very long. Great, and I know this foundation has been out forever, but I wanted to do my two cents on it because I'm kind of doing a lot of reviews right now anyway because I wasn't on YouTube for like an entire year. So I wanted you guys to know how I felt about it. This shade is in the shade Ivory. Not really my shade, 100%. I mean, it goes okay, but as I was putting it on without all the powders and all the bronzers and stuff, I feel like it made me look super pale. But... Granted, I will be getting paler because it is like winter time and I haven't really had much sun. So I will be getting paler as the time goes on. So we will see. Um, but as the day goes, I will keep doing updates with you guys and I will let you know how I'm feeling about the foundation. Right now, I'm a little, you know, I'm over the fence about it. It's, we'll just, we'll talk later. Okay guys, so before I apply the foundation, I'm going to go ahead and undo my uh, moisturizer and my primer. And I'm going to do that because that's how I wear my makeup every day. And I don't want to do a review based off of no moisturizer, no primer, just the foundation. Because then I'm not going to like it because it's not going to be the way I usually wear it. So I'm going to apply moisturizer. And by the way, my eyes have like remnants of makeup from last night. <laughs> that didn't get washed off and I'm doing my makeup over the top of it. I don't recommend doing that, but I'm doing that today. Okay. Okay, the moisturizer, it makes my skin really red when I rub my face, but the moisturizer I use every single day is the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion Plus. This is one of my favorite moisturizers. Did you just fall out of a window? Like, what did you even just do? Like, how does that happen? Anyway, <laughs> whatever. This is one of my favorite moisturizers of all times. I really do love it. Um, that's really all I can say about it. It's a moisturizer. Check it out from like Sephora, Ulta, Clinique counters. I mean everywhere. So then the primer that I use every single day that I love. And it's because I have such dry, dry, just thirsty skin. And this is the Hangover Primer from Too Faced. I think it's a Hangover X, Hangover RX primer. Um, but it's still my favorite primer. So I'm just going to take a couple pumps of that on my hands and I'm going to just dot it onto my face and then blend her out. Okay. So then I'm going to go ahead and use the Too Faced Born This Way. The shade I'm in is Ivory and I wouldn't necessarily say this is my shade, <laughs> but it's the shade I got online and I'm already sending one foundation back because I got the way wrong shade. But this one works for me and I have used this a few times. Um, I used it at work. I'm going to start with one pump and then I'll go in with a second pump. So I'm going to just dot it on my face with my fingers here. Like a pump and a half is what it takes. I didn't remember, so I didn't want to go pumping a ton of foundation on. Yeah. Like a little over one pump is actually all I really need. I have a little bit more foundation than I like to have on, on my face. So I like to use the Beauty Blender to blend this out. And for those of you who have never used a Beauty Blender, you push it into your skin. Do not smear it. You want to just pound it across your face. <laughs> you see that it's making me a little bit more pale? I don't live anywhere near Sephora so I really need to go get the color ID skin match 
because I don't know if you can tell, but when I look up on camera, I mean, I mean, I don't know what it'll look like because what it looks like in my viewfinder is never what it really looks like when it's um, on my computer, but it, I look like a white sheet of paper. Okay, and then, um, so that's just the foundation and I will zoom in and let you guys see that. Okay, so as of right now, before any other product has been applied to my face, that is what the foundation looks like. I have a little bit of texture going on and I don't feel like it really accentuates it all too much. The biggest thing is it kind of settles. I have this like small fine line going in my forehead, but pretty much everything settles into that line in my forehead. So I just kind of blend it out as I go so that way I don't get a lot of excess product just chilling in there. And now um, I try not to get it in my under eyes also, but um, you can see my dark circles right here. So I'm going to go ahead and conceal those up real quick. So then I am going to go ahead and set my makeup as I normally would just so you guys can see it. I usually use, I don't know if I told you what my concealer was. I think you probably just heard my cat hissing at the other cat. This is the Naked Skin Concealer and I'm in the shade Light Neutral. Um, but this is the Rimmel Stay Matte um, Powder. I wish I had the translucent one but I don't. This is in 004 Sandstorm. I've had the same powder for like who knows how long forever and I'm gonna set my under eyes with it this kind of turns into like a foundation routine when I never do it whenever I do foundation reviews okay so then I'm gonna go ahead and use my uh, MAC mineralized skin finish natural I am in the shade light plus and I'm gonna use that to set my face If you are a dry skinned girl like me, oh shit. Uh. Sorry, kitty. Sorry. I didn't do it on purpose. Why are you looking at me like that? Okay, so now I've got all of my foundation on and this is kind of what my makeup looks like today. This is a tutorial that's gonna be going up at some point, but this is, I'll just zoom in like, just really far and you guys can see what my skin looks like once. My foundation is on. One thing I will notice, and I just got done rubbing it out, I have, you know, like when I smile, I get smile lines a little, mm -hmm. and it settles into those lines, and on my forehead, I really express this eyebrow, you know, like I can express it. So I have a little wrinkle, fine line here, right here on my forehead, and it settled right into that line, and I mean, like, without makeup on, you can't even tell that line's there, but once I put this makeup on, it was like super there and it makes me feel like I'm very old looking. I feel like it makes my skin look, oh, I don't need to be zoomed in to talk to you guys. Um, I feel like it makes my skin look older than I am and I don't like that about it. Um, I don't know. I've been very back and forth. I'm going to keep wearing it today and let you guys know what I think. I will do a check up with you guys in a little while, but for right now I'm going to go and then I will come back later and show you guys how the foundation is wearing. I didn't use any setting spray. The only spray I used was the MAC Fix Plus, and that is not a setting spray. It just makes my makeup look more hello. So, okay, hey guys, it's actually like 10:30 at night right now, and I was gonna do a check-in earlier, but I got busy and I actually completely forgot. So this is kind of how my foundation has been wearing throughout the day. Since it is winter time, I have excessively dry skin so we're gonna go ahead and zoom in so you can see my skin and see possibly I don't I really don't know if you can see it if this camera will pick it up because this camera isn't as HD as I wish it was but my skin is very dry and you can kind of see it breaking away into the flakiness of my skin and I don't know um how much of that you can see on my cheeks this is the way it well it wore it wore pretty well because my um, you know face makeup stayed pretty well my blush my bronzer you can see spots where I've um, like right here I scratched my face and it's left marks because you know I've scratched the makeup off my face so that's kind of what an idea of what the foundation looks like up close and personal um, honestly 
it's an okay foundation. I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, I hate this foundation. And I'm not going to be like, oh, I love this foundation. It's kind of in between. I'm a little bit on the fence about it. I want to keep using it and I want to like it. I really want to like it. And I feel like during the summertime, I might be more apt to liking it. But I don't like the way it starts to look on my forehead where I'm really dry as the night goes on. I don't like that because it really breaks away. However, on my cheeks where I'm not super dry, it stays a lot better and it looked a lot better. Um, on my nose, it kind of disappeared on my nose and you can see like the little freckles coming through. Not that I have a lot of them, but just it's like skin from the sun discoloration really. Like I said, I'm really, really on the fence about this foundation and I think a lot of it too is that I have found other foundations that have been holy grail products for me lately. So for this one to be kind of on the fence is one where it's like I'll use it. I'll use it till it's gone. I think it's a beautiful bottle. I think the packaging was fantastic. Um, I love it. It's frosted glass and it's got this pretty cap. Like it's gorgeous packaging and I will use this foundation until it's gone. But would I repurchase it? Probably not. And you know, foundation is one of those things that is so difficult for people to watch reviews on and kind of get their opinion because everybody's skin is going to wear product different. Everybody's face is going to react differently to different products. Like that's just how we are. That's how our skin is. You know, eyeshadow palettes are a little bit easier to kind of determine because you can see pigmentation. You know, this, it's like, how does it wear? Does it oxidize? That kind of thing. I didn't really notice much for oxidation. Oxidization? What is that word that I'm looking for? I don't know, but I didn't really notice it oxidizing or torn, turning kind of an orange color. It stayed a really neutral color. Um, I think this is a neutral shade. I agree. I'm not 100% sure. I might like it better too if it was my accurate shade, but like I said, I'm terrible at getting my accurate shades because I order all my foundations online because I don't have a Sephora near me because I live in like the middle of nowhere. <laughs> So that's just kind of my quick little opinion on this foundation. Try it out for yourself if you want to and let me know. I hate when my heater comes on and this door just open. It creeps me out so much. If you've tried it out, let me know in the comments down below what you think of this foundation. I know I've seen a lot of reviews, some where people are like, holy grail, I love this stuff, and some where they're not so much. I have no idea how this would be on oily skin. I think on me, honestly, it stays feeling kind of oily. Like, my skin, I can feel the product on my skin all day. Like, it doesn't ever really feel dry, if that makes sense. And I'm not oily, I'm actually very dry skin, and usually I like that, but because my skin is super dry right now, it just peels away on my forehead. It's actually not so bad. If I were to wear this for even a couple more hours, which I'm going to be going to bed, so I'm not wearing it for any more hours, but if I were to wear it for a couple more hours, I think it would just start to get more and more patchy up in my forehead area, just because that's my driest spot. My normal skin spots it stays nice and it works good. So, I mean, I'm not going to say this foundation sucks. I would give this foundation a B, which is not bad. That's a pretty good foundation grade, if you ask me. So, I would give this foundation a B. I think it's good, but I think it could be better. So, let me know what you guys think if you tried it in the comments down below because foundations are different for everybody. I say that in all my foundation review videos because some people, it could be your holy grail foundation. And if I am offending you because this is your holy grail foundation, like, girl, I'm so sorry. But <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Let me know in the comments down below what else you would like to see or any other product you would like me to review for you guys. Let me know. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to all of you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys. Here's to the night. Wherever it goes, I'm all in, chasing